welcome to Across Louisiana. My name is Steve Sawyer, your host for the program. Thank you so much for being a part of the show today. We've got a lot of good festivals again that are still going on throughout the Metro New Orleans area. Gregor Trumel is the French American Chamber of Commerce representative and he's also the French consulate to Louisiana. Just an interesting gentleman and he's going to be talking about the upcoming Beaujolais Festival and that's always a big event here in New Orleans. John Luther is with the Home Builders Association of New Orleans. They've got one of their biggest events that's going to be taking place out near the lakefront uh, airport. Makaman Adanya is with the New Orleans Hispanic Heritage Foundation and they've got a big event coming up uh, that they're going to be promoting and it's just great information about the Hispanic Heritage Foundation and what they do for the local community. Our good friend Larry Richard is with the Louisiana Ended Indian Heritage Association. Uh, they've got an event on November 21st and 22nd. It's the big powwow that they do every year. It's a wonderful event. He's going to be telling you how you can be a part of that. And finally, our good friend Jenny Hamilton. She is with the New Orleans Ballet Association. They've got two events coming up that you'll want to be a part of. And she's also going to talk about the association and how a lot of their classes are free and how you can take advantage of that. So I hope you stay with us. We've got a great show lined up. We'll be right back. And welcome to Across Louisiana. Again, my name is Steve Sawyer. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. What better way to start a show than with our good friend, Gregor Trumel. Gregor is the Consulate General of France in Louisiana. We always love having you on the show. You're just, an, a, you're just a fascinating individual, and I love having you on here. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about the Beaujolais Festival coming up. That's but, right. But, Gregor, talk about, uh, as Consulate General, what is, what is your role in Louisiana? Hello, so Stephen. I, I think you're also with, uh, with the French Chamber, too, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. I'm the Consul General of France in Louisiana. It means that I represent the French government in Louisiana. And uh, you know that the French Consulate General here is the oldest French consulate in the United States. Oh, and I it didn't was know founded that. before the French Embassy in Washington, D.C. It gives you an, an, an idea of uh, oh, how important Louisiana that. is for France. Yeah, I didn't know that. And so uh, the, the job is uh, first to take care of my uh, fellow citizens. Mm -hmm. And they are very, very numerous to come to, to, to New Orleans. And it's thousands of French tourists and people who come here to work and so on. And then we, have a, we work a lot on education and francophonie, you know, French-speaking people. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have teachers who come here to, uh, to, to teach in, Fr in uh, French schools in Louisiana. And it's a big program. It's, uh, it's doing very well. And I help my uh, fellow citizen to... Uh, to make business mm -hmm. here as well, and uh, Louisiana is doing very well with uh, with business and trade and so on, and culture, of course. Yeah. So you, I mean, you really are the French representative here in, and, and it's for the. It's not just for New Orleans; it's for the whole state of Louisiana. Yes, exactly. Right? I, I'm I'm representing France in the whole state of Louisiana, and tomorrow, for instance, I'm going to Ruston and Shreveport. So, uh, and of course, I go very often in Lafayette. You probably and love Lafayette. <laughs> Who doesn't it's love Lafayette? It's always a pleasure to go and meet my uh, Cajun and Creole fr yeah. friends there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And, and listen, you're just such a such a great representative. We, we love having you here. And so let's talk Thank about you, the Steve. Beaujolais Festival on November 19th. Huge festival. Yeah. It's a great tradition, another French great tradition in Louisiana. It's the new wine that comes uh, to, uh, to the market. And uh, it's going to be at the JW Marriott uh, on Canal Street. We organized that with the French American Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. Very good friends. And it's going to be fun. So please come. Very numerous. You're welcome. It's going to be at 7 p.m. In, at the JW Marriott, 19th of November. Good food, good wine, now, good is, people. Is there a cost for the event? It, uh, it's a fundraiser, so... Yes, there's a cost. You can go on the French American Chamber of Commerce uh, website and then register, of course. It's a fundraiser because we do a lot with the French American Chamber of Commerce to, uh, to organize some, some events to promote French culture, French yeah. business, and so and, on. And I can tell you, I've been for the last couple of years. It is absolutely an incredible event. Yeah. Before I run out of time, the website is FACC dash gc.com. We're going to put that on the screen. All the information about the Beaujolais Festival can be found on that. Gregor, again, thank you so much. Thank you, you very you much, You are Steve. more than welcome to be on the show anytime you want. We always love talking about uh, the, the job that you have because I just think it's fascinating for Americans for what you yeah. do living abroad. And again, you do such a great job and I could talk forever, but they tell me to wrap it up, so we'll be right back. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
And welcome back to Across Louisiana. Again, thank you so much for being a part of the show today. Very happy to have Mr. John Luther. John is the Executive Vice President for the Home Builders Association of New Orleans. John, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Steve. I'm Home uh, Builders real happy Association. to be here. Home Builders Association. That's just, Scott, it's such a great organization to be a part of here in New Orleans. Uh, for our viewers at home, talk about the Home Builders Association, kind of the responsibilities of, of what y'all do. Sure, absolutely. Uh, you know, we're, the whole essence of the organization is to make uh, residential construction better. Mm -hmm. Better in the sense of, you know, safer, more efficient, more affordable. And so that, that underlies all of our standards, that underlies our whole mission is to go out there and build, the, you know, the best communities that we possibly can, but we've got to make it affordable. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, we're always working with different materials and techniques and theories of construction and that sort of thing and so as long as we keep striving for those things I think we'll remain a, a, a really terrific organization and, and, and the organization it, it's a membership organization correct I mean that's uh, kind of like a Chamber of Commerce so to speak for the home builders group of, of individuals you right? got it and in fact we're, we're thrilled right now we're almost at a thousand member firms wow. of which about half of that is our so-called builder membership and that could be land developers single-family home builders renovators apartment managers and developers and then the other segment of the membership are those who conceivably support the trades yeah. from flooring to window companies to banks to insurance companies to lighting wow, companies that's, so that's yeah. incredible hey I, I could talk about that all day let's, <laughs> let's talk about uh, November 21st you've got your annual gala coming up and this right. year uh, you were mentioning that it's going to be at the uh, Lakefront Airport Lakefront right? Airport New Orleans we are thrilled this is our 75th year uh, we incorporated in 1941 year. in fact we were one of the top two or three oldest such home builders in the nation and there are almost 800 of them Wow. Uh, so we're going to have this gala. We're going to celebrate uh, certainly our past and a lot of the forefathers of our organization, but we're also going to take this opportunity to, to, to really look where we're going in the future because we've got some bright prospects in the metro region here. And John, this is open to the public, right? It is open to the public and, and, and our food, members as drink. well. Food, drink, uh, live band, silent auction, and just a terrific, terrific venue for and it. And what time does it start? That'll be at 6.30 p.m. to 9.30. Okay. Yeah. And, and uh, the website is uh, hbagno.org. All the information right. about the event itself can be on the website. Sure is. As yep. Also, membership opportunities at Home Builders exactly, Association. Exactly, yeah. We, our website is, is pretty comprehensive. What's great about membership with our organization is it's a three for one. Mm -hmm. You join our organization by virtue of membership with us. You're then a member of the Louisiana Home Builders Association in Baton Rouge and the National Association of Home Builders in Washington, D.C., where I worked many years before coming here. Mm -hmm. So the resources from those three entities are, are it's unlimited. Okay. John, thank you so much for being a part of the show. Mm -hmm. Best of success on the gala, and please continue to come back, talk about all the success you guys are having. We've got a few more guests. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana again. Thank you so much for being on the show. A treat for us to have Maddie Common. Aldana on the show, and I hope I got that halfway right. <laughs> you did, and thank you so much for inviting us. Hey, thanks for being here, and and she is the co-chair of the Alzuka Ball that's going to be on the 21st, but most importantly, you're with the New Orleans Hispanic Heritage Foundation. That's correct. Talk a little bit about the foundation, uh, I think the mission of the organization, you know, what you guys do and everything, then we'll get into the ball. Yes, well, first of all, the New Orleans Hispanic Heritage Foundation, there is a large Hispanic community in New Orleans, so we tried to bring the good things of our community, mm -hmm. being in the arts, being in the different segments of, of where uh, the Hispanic people is. Uh, that's one uh, focus of the organization. The other focus is we provide the scholarships to high oh, school wow. students, high uh, Hispanic, mm -hmm. uh, usually Hispanic um, uh, background. Mm -hmm. um, these are uh, scholarships to the most recognized um, high schools in the city. And um, it's a pleasure to work with these kids. So uh, the, some schools may provide part of the scholarship and then we come in and provide the oh, other part. Oh, that is awesome. Great. So let's talk, the ball is on uh, the 21st. Uh, I guess, and it's probably a fundraiser for the organization, scholarships and things like that. You have to have money to provide that. So I'm sure this is one of your big fundraisers that you do. It's actually the main event. Okay. Um, all the work of the volunteers, it's pretty much all the work through this ball is uh, from volunteers. Mm -hmm. So literally all the money that we get from this ball goes to the uh, scholarship fund. And, and where's it held at? Where's it's the, going to be at the Hyatt Regency at the Empire Ballroom. Patron party starts at 7 okay. and the main event starts 
starts at eight. And the cost of the fundraiser is? The cost of the fundraising, there are uh, different sponsorship levels, and uh, the patron ticket is $250, the vault ticket is $150, okay. and we have a special rate for people under 30. Oh, That's wow. only $75, because obviously we want yeah. young people to get involved Absolutely. and contribute That's to the community. Idea. And, and the patron party is like a VIP party where it's like, you get it's in It's a VIP first party, and, and this year, because it's uh, such an important year, we, it's, it's the 25th anniversary of the uh, Azúcar Bowl. So we are having Dickie Brennan uh, catering the party, wow. and then we are having an ensemble of the Luciana Philharmonic Orchestra playing uh, music with Hispanic flavor during the patron party. That sounds incredible. Your website is nohhf.org. We'll put that on the screen. All the information about the ball can be found on the website. Exactly. And, and, and you can purchase tickets through the website. And also too. about the organization itself, because you intrigued me with the scholarships and things like that. All that information can be found on the Everything website. Everything can be there. Everything that can be super. there. Uh, we have been working on this for 25 years. We have provided about 600 scholarships, $600,000. So this is this is amazing. Okay. And as you know, uh, New Orleans is changing. Yeah. It's there is a new vibe, yeah. and uh, it's a new flavor. And we are people just bringing something new to New well, Orleans. That's great. So. And listen, best of success on the ball. We've got a couple more guests. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana. One of the most fascinating guests we have on the show is with us today, Mr. Larry Rashari. Larry is the chairman of the Louisiana Indian Heritage Association. Larry, thank you so much for taking time to be on the show. We always love having you on the show because we love love talking about Indian heritage and uh, I think you've been chairman, I think you're designated chairman for life uh, <laughs> for, for the event that's coming up. But with that, before I talk about the event, talk a little bit about uh, the association and you know what you guys do and, and how you promote and protect Indian culture. Well, Louisiana Indian Heritage Association has been around for over 50 years. <clears throat> And we have a core group of people who are native and non-native who just love the culture, the music, the style, the dance, everything about it, and the art. And we've had people flock in from all over the place. Uh, Leha membership is open to everyone, and I mean everyone. And uh, we invite people to come. We invite them to come to the powwow, mm -hmm. which we still hold our 49th annual this 49th fall. 49th annual. 49th annual. The Let's oldest, talk about the powwow real quick. Oldest independent powwow in the state. Uh, we invite people to come and dance, have a good time, bring your bring your lawn chair, bring your family, sit outside the circle. Very yeah. interactive. Interactive. Uh, there'll be crafts, there'll be food, there'll be music, there'll be presentations of uh, arts and crafts. There'll be people beading, showing mm -hmm. you how to bead. There'll be people showing you how to weave baskets, how to paint. Uh, any number of things. Uh, there'll be, like I said, some cooking going on. Uh, there'll be some raffles going on. Be uh, some dancing. Yeah, a lot of dancing, a lot of music. And if you're a veteran or have a veteran in your family, we have always honored our veterans. That's incredible y'all do that. That's always great. honored our veterans. There'll be a song. You have to imagine there'll be a drum in the middle of a circle of dancers. There'll be benches where the dancers sit and then the spectators. And then on the outside will be our... Uh, merchants and sponsors. But in the center is our drum. This is our only music that's there. and be men sitting around singing on a drum. They will play a song for the veterans at the beginning of each dance session and invite them to come in and be honored. Wow, and that's incredible. They'll be welcomed home the right way, yeah. a, a good way. Yeah, and Larry, the, uh, before I run out of time here, it's November 21st, 22nd. November. It's at the Lamar Dixon. Lamar Dixon and Gonzalez. And we'll put this on the screen. Your website is liha.webs.com. All the information on the event can be found. Is there a cost to get in? There, for adults, $5. $5, and that covers the whole day? That covers the whole day. You can spend the whole day sitting there. If you just want to watch, fine. Okay. If you just want to... If participate, fine. They're wrapping, if, they're wrapping me up, but I do want, yeah. again, it's November 21st, 22nd. It's at Lamar Dixon and Gonzalez, the 49th annual Pow Wow. It's 49. just absolutely incredible if you get a chance. You've got, it's a great way to spend the day and also a great way to spend the day with your family. We have one more guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. 
And welcome back to Across Louisiana. Our final guest is a good friend of ours and I always love having her on the show, Miss Jenny Hamilton. Jenny is the executive director for the New Orleans Ballet Association. Thank you so much for taking time to be here. It's getting to be that time again of year that everybody loves with the ballet and it's all the time. holiday stuff coming up. So if, if you will, real quick, talk about the association and, and some of the things you guys are involved in. Because I think you're involved in a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't really know about. Right. Well, our organization was created in 1969, so we're more than 45 years old that we have been operating in the community and providing dance services and performances and education services and we have two primary arms. Mm -hmm. One is our main stage series where we bring in dance companies of all different genres from around the world. So we just finished with Twyla Tharp on Saturday and next up is Dance Theater of Harlem on November 21st and we'll welcome them back. They haven't been here since 2001. Wow. Um, tickets are selling really fast and um, it's just everyone's all excited about it and part of that is it incorporates the other arm of the organization which is that we we provide more than 5,500 tuition-free classes and activities in the community a year at about 12 different sites in three parishes. So we have children from 3 to 18, mm -hmm. classes for adults, classes for senior citizens. So some of our advanced students um, will culminate a five-month residency with Dance Theater of Harlem, and they're going to perform with the company, which is very unique and very rare for students ages 14 to 18. Yeah, what, what a great way to have your resume with information like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And they're going to perform with Dance Theater of Harlem in the community, one at 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday, at a student performance at the Mahalia Jackson for school kids, mm -hmm. and then one in the evening in collaboration with Dillard University. So, and then the, the company will be doing a performance on Saturday night at, at the Mahalia Jackson. Okay. And you need, you need tickets to get in, right? I mean, you need tickets to get in, okay. and um, they should call, you can definitely call our office or log on to our website. And then on December the 6th, mm -hmm. these same children, as well as they're going to be joined with a, of a cast of 200 more of wow. our students, ages about seven up to maybe 80, um, with our an annual Nutcracker Suite. So, that's two performances on. On December the 6th and it's all local participants. We do not bring awesome. in any principal dancers outside so a 17 year old child is the snow queen and the sugar plum and then we even have a grandparent scene of, of uh, senior citizens from our dance oh, fitness wow. program so it's it's just That's fabulous. Cool. Hey Jeannie, the, uh, we'll put this on the screen the website is N-O-B-A-D nobadance.com. Uh -huh. Information on the organization as far as how you can get involved, if, if parents want to get their kids involved, can all be found on that. Is it, is it free for the classes that you do? All of our classes are free. Okay. All of our classes are tuition free and we even have yoga and tai chi during the week for adults. Wow. We have tap and ballet and modern dance and Haitian for adults. We have senior citizens dance fitness classes on a weekly basis. Those anyone can Still drop great. in at any time in a Nord Center around the city okay. and enjoy those classes. And then our youth classes are always, always tuition free, always open. And the two performances again, November 21st and December the 6th, they told me that I gotta go. Thank you so much for being a part of the show today. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time.